Hi, everyone. Kyle Kramer, the Executive Director at the Earth and Spirit Center, and I'm here with Dr. Andrew McCart of the University of Louisville. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Kyle. Good to be here. Thank you for uh, your time today. Yes, well, thank you, and go Cards. I see that you are definitely uh, at the University of Louisville right now. You're going between... to represent the brand while you're here. So. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of which, uh, let's start, if we could, with just a little bit about you and your background. Obviously, uh, you're, you're interacting with us as uh, a practitioner and teacher of Taoism. We want to hear a, a bit about that, but also about your, your current professional work. Sure, thank you. Well, uh, over the years, as you know from our personal conversations, I've tried to blend my my professional and my personal lives together to where I'm. Uh, you know, I don't have this dichotomy when I'm at work or when I go home. So, well, and as we've here, joked about, like you're no longer the, the what is it, the shaggy Taoist shaggy. living out of his van, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. well dressed with a suit and a tie. Well, it's uh, so. Um, in, in all seriousness, started out at uh, in business school and graduated business school, got into business, had, had uh, careers in industry. And now I teach at a school of public health at the University of Louisville. I, I teach um, in a master's of science and health administration program. So, and that's where your doctoral experience is, right? It is, yeah, doctorate in public health and, mm -hmm. and then uh, also study business along the way too, and finance and, um, but secretly, not so secretly studying Taoism on the, on the commutes and in the summertime, whenever I would have time off as a teacher and on the weekends, mm -hmm. uh, I would uh, go to North Carolina or New York or China, France, wherever, wherever they let me in. And I could uh, study Taoism and nurture this side of me that uh, kind of this inner calling to um, ask some of the bigger questions of life uh, right. beyond just the uh, uh, carrying water, chopping wood, trying to get my bills paid and those kind of things. Right. So you're not you've not only been a Taoist practitioner for, gosh, I think over two decades, but also you've you've become a trained Taoist teacher and, and you, you do that often in North Carolina in the summers. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. And I was really glad to have the opportunity here in Louisville and in our home city at the Earth and Spirit Center to uh, to share this because it's uh, we used to sing a song in Sunday school about this little light of mine. I've got to let it shine. And Taoists aren't very good at that. We like to uh, we like to keep ourselves and stay out of the way. Hide that Taoist light under a bushel. <laughs> that's what I try. Yeah, that's exactly right. And and so, but at some point you get a, a reward and it's a good feeling to be sharing this. And yeah. right, I've studied it for around uh, 20 years and uh, formally. And uh, it's uh, just a testament to how how much work I needed to do on myself to, <laughs> to have stuck with. And still, I think I've made a little progress, but it's tough, you know, turning that uh, Kind of turning inward and, and looking mm -hmm. at things that uh, patterns that may have caused problems and uh, don't, get, don't lead to the results that you want in your well, life and relationships. So I don't, I don't know if any of us who get all the results that we want out of ourselves and our lives, but <laughs> a few would be nice. It'd be nice to have a few of them. So, but at least we can learn to go with the flow of it. So, um, you know, for those of us who are have not grown up or studied uh, in the Taoist tradition, can you give us like a one or maybe two sentence uh, summary of, of what Taoism is in the present day? Well, sure. Um, oh, I saw he wasn't really talking about Taoism, but Joseph Campbell had a, a video and it may have been the one at the uh, Star Wars Skywalker Ranch uh, when they did the interview there. But he talked about a as the sun comes up over the horizon, there was a plant he's got at his home that uh, turned toward the sun and that mm -hmm. was just its nature and it followed it as it went across the sky. And uh -huh. I think that we have a, a true nature as, as humanity and it's it's actually part of the bigger picture. Like there's a kind of an unfolding to the to create to the cosmos or whatever you want to call it. And the more that we find a way to, this is just my my take on it all, but we find a way to go with that true nature, whatever that is. Um, and that's usually we find that's what brings us happiness and brings others happiness and bears fruit in our life in a positive way. Uh, the, the, the more we go with that and we stop resisting that I think uh, the more happiness, the more virtuous we will feel, the more we'll be able to help others and, and be of service. And so I think that you know, Taoism might say going with the flow, but the, you know, the, the flow of what, and, and that might be the flow of nature and um, you know, kind of that, the just 
Well, I think it really, the true nature is really to be virtuous and to be of service mm -hmm. to others. Mm -hmm. Okay, so flowers following the sun uh, and, and, and serving others, uh, if, if I can stretch <laughs> that analogy to the breaking point. Uh, okay, so, so Andrew, you are going to be teaching a four-week course on Taoism, kind of a, a, a primer on Taoism, as part of our uh, Interfaith Spirituality series. And that, uh, that course is coming up on, let's see, October 5th. It'll be, as I said, four weeks, 7 to 8.30 uh, in the evening. And this is going to take place both uh, in person at the Earth and Spirit Center and also um, uh, on Zoom for those who wish to attend remotely. What in those four weeks can our uh, participants expect to, uh, to learn and, and to practice with you? Yeah, sure. I'd be happy to, to share that. So it's Tuesday evenings in October mm -hmm. and the classic books, we're going to explore the just a, a bit of the classic texts of Taoism, which are um, the Tao Te Ching, the uh, Tai Chi classics, the Yi Ching, or mm -hmm. the Book of Changes, and then the Yellow Emperor's classic on internal medicine. Okay. And we'll take just a piece out of each one of those books, one, one per week, four books, four weeks, and we'll sort of look at those classic texts from these authors of antiquity, and we will see what applications philosophically that those have for modern people in our lives today, but also what uh, implications and what uh, benefits we can learn to have a physical practice mm -hmm. and a spiritual practice, a movement and a meditation practice. So there, uh, it's easy as a Taoist to be an armchair philosopher and uh, sit around drinking your green tea and pontificate with your friends, uh, but we uh, we know that to move the energy in the body and to connect with the energy of nature, that we have to have a, you know, the, the more clear our vessel, uh, the better it is. So we'll have some exercises each week to uh, clear out our energy body, some releasing things, some building of energy, and uh, growing that virtue that uh, I talked about in your first question. Okay. Well, and as, as I remember, if, if I'm remembering rightly, uh, speaking of like moving bodies and being active in that way, you're also a, a black belt in the martial arts. Is that correct? I, yeah, I, I have uh, trained karate and taekwondo and hapkido. And um, then I started boxing and learned how much I didn't know. And, uh, <laughs> and, somebody and is, I, is, is all that connected in some way to your Taoist practice as well? well it, yeah, it sure is. So I... Okay. Uh, I went to a, uh, I was, had an appeal to the martial arts when I was younger, and I finally got, uh, got time in college, and um, the martial arts school I walked into, there was a, a gentleman in there that taught me the kind of the first fundamental Taoist practices, and oh, okay. I just really took to it there, and we'd go to the park every morning, six days yeah. a week. I told him I wanted one day off, but it was, uh, <laughs> it was in Bloomington, Indiana, where I know you've uh, spent some yeah. time as well, and uh, just lucked out going into that, and so Really, the way we learned martial or the way that they taught martial arts there was all about the acupuncture meridians of the body. And mm. as you do these movements and forms, you're filling your body with energy uh, okay. more than just uh, breaking boards. And right. Well, no breaking, <laughs> no breaking boards in this particular class, but also not just not just a head trip uh, about learning intellectually about Taoism, but also learning uh, some physical movements and, and how to incorporate that in, in, into your body self as well yeah. as your mind. Yeah, gentle flowing movements, much mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, we're, we're just going into autumn and the seasons flow. Well, we have the same energetic cycles in our body and we want to yeah. tune in with the, the bigger flow. And um, Taoism is an in the body experience. So mm. well, it's easy, like I said, but the pontificating, it's easy to be out here uh, on purpose or unconsciously, uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna go in here and uh, people don't always like me for that because it's <laughs> don't always like what we find in here, but <laughs> we're going to give it a shot and keep our mind where our body is uh, okay. at least for part of the time. So. Fantastic. Well, you know, uh, for those of us, uh, or for, the, for those who are watching this and want to learn more about Taoism, uh, either in preparation for this class or in discernment about this class, uh, Andrew, you and I did a, a lengthy podcast interview about this a, a few months ago, I think it was, and we'll try and link to that uh, where we, wherever we post this video. So um, uh, we're really looking forward to having you as a faculty member for this course, and uh, everybody, uh, just go to our website, earthandspiritcenter.org, and you could, there's still time to sign up. It starts uh, next Tuesday evening. Thanks again, Andrew. All right, thank you, Kyle.